Pythagoras theorem, example one. It wants you to find the length of the hypotenuse correct to one decimal place for this triangle. Now, I'm going to have to move this screen a little bit so we can see the whole triangle. It doesn't quite fit in there, but that's fine. It's not a big deal that we can't see uh, the first part of the question. So we want to find the hypotenuse correct to one decimal place. And a good place to start is just to write, label your C, B and A. So C is always your hypotenuse and your A and B are the other two sides. Alright, so let's write our equation down. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Alright, now C represents our hypotenuse, so we'll change it with H for hypotenuse. A represents 2 and B represents 3. So we're going to go 2 squared plus 3 squared. We've just replaced the A and the B with the associated number. Now what I like to do first is work out the right and just go, all right, 2 squared on my calculator plus 3 squared gives me 13. All right, so that tells me that h squared equals 13. Now it's really important that you know that we're not trying to find what h squared is, we're trying to find what h is. And the way to do that is to square root your 13. And when I do that on my calculator, this is something you cannot do in your head, it gives me, if I do it correct to one decimal place, 3.6. And we'll write that in centimetres, and next to it we're just going to write 1dp, just meaning that I've rounded it to one decimal place because there's other numbers after that decimal point. So h is about 